Hello, 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 welcome back to the channel now. It's been a little while since I've uploaded a video. I apologize for that. Work has been getting in the way and I've been taking up a little bit more hours. Um, so yeah, more money. Uh, so we got today, uh, we got today, uh, Brisbane versus Collingwood. Now it's going to be interesting clash. Uh, obviously the Lions lost last week. To my catters, uh, by 10 points. Um, but they weren't that bad last week. They were pretty good. And just Geelong were just far too good. In the back, yeah, it's probably there. But at the same time, we were just, I guess, better. Um, and a couple of those on opportunities during the last quarter. Uh, even though we only kicked two goals, six. So we need to fix that up. All right, so it's going to be interesting. Collingwood obviously lost to West Coast in a shock loss. I never imagined West Coast would actually win, but they did. Um, so I don't know who I'm going to tip, to be honest. It could go either way. Uh, since it's the Gabba, I'm going to tip Brisbane. Um, yeah, it's just going to be an interesting contest. Um, my tipping has been shocking this year so far with 24, 23, something like that. So I'm going to tip Brisbane by three goals. Now it'll be closer than what a lot of people think, but, and Lockie Neal's 300, uh, 200, sorry. Um, but yeah, so they'll probably lift for him. All right. So we've got the North Melbourne Good Friday, uh, clash against the, uh, Western Bulldogs. Um, this is obviously annually. Um, it's going to be an interesting clash. You know, both sides haven't been impressive this year. Uh, North Melbourne, obviously, <clears throat> pretty impressive in a way last week. They they should have won, but, you know, Sydney were just too good in the end. And the Bulldogs kicking, goal kicking, has been atrocious. And I tipped them last week to beat Richmond. And if they, you know, kick straight up, they would have won easily. So can't really take much away from that game when you think about it. But I am going to tip North Melbourne by one point. Now, I'm always going to do um, the underdog for one for one tip each round. So I'm going to try and do that. You never know with North Melbourne. They could come out or Bulldogs could just win by like 10 plus goals, even 100 points. But I'm going to tip North Melbourne. You know what? Why not? All right. So we've got the West Coast Eagles versus Sydney Swans. Hmm. It's going to be interesting. Obviously, they both had a, had a solid wins against Collingwood and uh, North Melbourne. So, But I'm going to have to tip Sydney with this one. I think Sydney will just be too good. Too strong against the West Coast Eagles. Even though it's at home, you just never know. But I'm going to tip Sydney. All right, so we got the St. Kilda Suns game. I might be attending this game, but I'm not too sure yet. I'm attending the uh, tomorrow's game, the Good Friday game. So I'll be do, uh, be going to that. Uh, so I'm going to tip St. Kilda to win against the Suns. You never know, though. Suns could turn up like they did against Carlton last week. But I'm going to tip the Sun. Uh, sorry, I'm going to tip the Saints by... Ooh, I'm going to tip them by 25 points. All right, so we've got the Adelaide versus Richmond Tigers. I don't really know how to make... Of Richmond, they've been okay and they've been solid uh, in some of the games that they've played already. But I just think Adelaide may be a little bit more hungrier. Uh, and I tipped them last week to beat Essen. Unfortunately, they didn't quite get there in the end. Uh, obviously, the last play, I uh, can't remember who kicked it, but one of the uh, Adelaide players kicked it and bombed it pretty much straight into the middle hands of um oh the Essendon defender I can't remember his name but I'm going to tip Adelaide Adelaide Crows even though they probably have less experience than Richmond because Richmond will have back um Dylan Grimes and that so but I'm still going to tip uh Adelaide since it's the home ground and they've got Tex Walker back he kicked four last week so I'm going to tip Adelaide by hmm, five points. All right, we've got Melbourne versus GWS. GWS has been okay. Uh, obviously beat the Suns, and they who did they play last week? They played um they played Fremantle and got uh, hammered. Um, obviously the free kick count people were talking about and things like that. But at the same time, you know you play by the whistle and. Yeah, Fremantle just weren't good. Uh, Fremantle just too good. 
So I'm going to tip Melbourne by, I'm going to tip them by 45 points against GWS. I think it'd just be, you know, days aren't playing the best football, but they're playing some really, really good football at the same time, if that makes any sense. Hopefully it does. But yeah, I'm going to tip Melbourne by 45. I think they're going to be too, too good. And it's going to be a 725 game at the G. So I'm going to do that. All right. So we've got Carlton versus Port Adelaide. Really no brainer. I'm going to tip Carlton in this, even though they didn't do the best last week. Uh, you know, Port, Port are cooked. Like, they're done. So, I reckon, I don't think it's fair on Ken Hinckley or any, or any of the AFL coaches that have been sacked during the season. I feel like it'd be, it'd be best if you did it after the season. Like, or even like if they don't make finals, obviously during the finals when other teams are playing, that would make more sense. But you can't really sack a coach, in my opinion, uh, halfway through a season or even a quarter through a season. So you can't do that. So I'm going to tip Carlton by five goals. I think they're just going to be way too good. But you never know. Port might actually want to play. Maybe Ollie Wines could be, no, he's missing this week, but he's playing in round six possibly. So hopefully he can play because he's played some really good football in the last couple of years. So put that just in case because I haven't really watched much footy really, to be honest, this year as I would have liked, even though I've been to like eight eight or so footy games this year already. Um, so we've got the Bombers Dockers. Now, this could be a either Essendon want to play some football and, you know, do well, or Fremantle just going to absolutely dominate like they did in, uh, in the t- uh, 2015 uh, season or even 2013. Like, they're, you know, they're coming back. So, yeah, I don't know, really know what I'm saying anymore. <laughs> I'm just making words. I'm tired. Um, so I'm going to tip Fremantle by, hmm, I don't know. I'm probably going to, uh, it's going to be a close game. So I'm going to tip Fremantle by 10 points. That's just my prediction. Uh, so we've got the Easter Monday clash, uh, Hawks, Cats. Unfortunately, I'm working at 3 p.m. to 8 p.m. So I'll be missing another game of Easter Monday, which sucks. It really does. But, you know, I'd rather get paid double or even possibly triple. But, yeah. Um, so I'm going to go to the Cats. Obviously, I'm biased, uh, especially when my team's playing. But I think it would be a good clash. Uh, after last week, Hawks lost by 69 points. Um, hey, hey. Um, but yeah, I don't know how to make that game because I didn't really watch it. But I just think if Hawks take their opportunities and play their risky, you know, fast attacking footy, anything's really possible. But I'm sticking with my cutters uh, to win by 15 points and it will co- go down to the wire. So that is my predictions. I hope you enjoy um, my match day vlog with the Brisbane and Brisbane and uh, Geelong clash and round four. I went to the game, vlogged it, so it should be up by tomorrow ish or even Saturday. Sorry for the delay, uh, busy working and stuff, so can't really do much. Plus, I don't exactly have the motivation at the moment because I'm always tired. But yeah, that's video. Thanks so much for watching, and I hope you enjoy the video. Peace.